this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Please hit the notification bell so you'll know when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. Well, today I want to talk about another hidden figure. This is somebody that if you haven't heard about it, you're going to be shocked again. Just as a heads up, whenever you hear somebody co-invented or help to invent something, you can almost bet that they're talking about a black person. And you can also bet again that that person either did the invention or did the primary work of that invention. So today we're talking about the GPS the global positioning system. This is a system that just came up out of nowhere and now we just almost can't do without it. If you want to go somewhere, you click on that GPS system and it'll tell you where to start and where to end. And sometimes that woman will give you a roundabout route to wherever you're trying to go, but eventually you will get there. That is called the Global Positioning System, GPS, and guess who invented it? Yes, this beautiful lady, Dr. Gladys West. She is the inventor of the Global Positioning System, the GPS as we know it. Dr. West did the groundwork. She put in the hours to get this work done. She documented it, had it copywritten, and published so there wouldn't be any question about who did it. When I first heard about this, I googled GPS and there was another person's name and another person's face and I was a little bit confused. So I had to do deeper research and I found that Dr. West is acknowledged as the developer slash inventor of the GPS. And she's got the paperwork to back it up, the work that was actually done in the development of the system. Not only that, but she's been inducted in the Air Force Hall of Fame. And she was just recently, a few days ago, inducted into the Transportation Hall of Fame. So she has received recognition for what she did. But let me just say this. Had it not been for her sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, which is also my sorority, the world would not know that Dr. Gladys West is the inventor of this system. Dr. West was born in Dinwiddie County, Virginia in 1930. She is 91 years old, so she has lived long enough to tell her story. She graduated from high school with honors and earned a scholarship to Virginia State University, where she majored in mathematics. So she is a mathematician. That is why we encourage our young people to study the STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. She was initiated into Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated at Virginia State University, and that's a good thing. But I still like to think that had not they brought this great achievement to the world's attention, somebody else would have. In 1956, she was hired to work at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, which is now the Naval Surface Warfare Center. She was only the second black woman to be hired there. She was hired as a computer programmer and as a data processor. Her co-workers were white men, and she said they didn't think she was up to the job. They thought that she was inferior. So apparently, she set out to prove them wrong. She states in her biography that she encountered many hardships because of racism against African Americans. Primarily was the lack of recognition she received while working, while her white co-workers received praise and added privileges. She also states her disappointment at not being granted the projects that included travel and exposure. And those things would have been helpful in the work that she was doing in creating the global positioning system. Nevertheless, through the 70s and the 80s, she continued doing her work, programming that computer to deliver precise calculations of the shape of the earth. The work that Dr. West did was scientific and mathematical. She studied the shape of the earth, its measurements and dimensions, 
the gravitational pull on the earth, the interaction of the oceans with earth, and also the location of everything on earth. So the work was very detailed and time consuming. In 1986, to protect her intellectual property, she published data processing system specifications for the Geosat Satellite Radar Altimeter. It is a 51-page technical report from the Naval Surface Weapons Center with her name on it. This is documentation detailing what she did to arrive at the GPS precision. And she knew what every other black inventor knows. You have to put your name on it. You have to publish it. And you have to have it copyrighted because otherwise somebody else's name will end up on it. It was phenomenal groundbreaking work that she was doing, but she said she had no idea at the time that her work would affect so many. She adds, when you're working every day, you're not thinking, what impact is this going to have on the world? You're thinking, I've got to get this right. Well, she got it right. This is something else that she said that I found kind of moving. She said, I felt proud of myself as a woman, knowing that I can do what I can do. But as a black woman, that's another level where you have to prove to a society that hasn't accepted you for what you are. What I did was keep trying to prove that I was as good as you are, she said. There is no difference in the work we can do. And I think that's something we need to really Pound into our children. Do not let somebody else tell you what you can't do. You show them what you can do. Dr. West worked at the Dahl Green Center for 42 years. She retired in 1998. After retiring, she completed a Ph.D. in public administration from Virginia Tech. Now, this is what's disgraceful. Dr. West worked at that Dahl Green Center for 42 years. She retired with great accolades and fanfare, but they never mentioned that she had invented the GPS. They let her go off into the sunset with that knowledge hidden. And we can just assume that on the day she died, somebody else would have jumped up and taken credit for her work. And she would become another hidden figure hidden from history until somebody went and dug it up a hundred years later. But fate stepped in on her side. It was when the AKAs were having a program where they were honoring the retirees of their chapter that she wrote a short biography of her work at the Dahl Green Center. And this was during the time that the Hidden Figures movie came out and this whole thing about those black women computers working for the government came out. That is when they put it in the newspaper and it went viral, so to speak. This is another hidden figure that's been in the background while somebody else is taking credit for the work that she did. So for that reason, I do thank my Soros because they put her on the map. This is a major invention. It relieves the stress of navigating roadways, highways, and interstates all over the world. She invented the GPS system and she did it through hard work. That was time consuming work. So this is just a trickery. It's just, it's just amazing. Again, Google who invented the, the GPS system and see whose name comes up. But she is the one who is acknowledged. The government acknowledges it now. She's in the Air Force Hall of Fame. She's also in the Transportation Hall of Fame or the Transportation Walk of Fame or whatever they call it. But they have finally given her recognition, but their arms had to be twisted to do it. Dr. West is married. She has been married to her husband, Ira, for 65 years. They met at the Dollar Green Center, and both of them were still alive and well. They have three children, and I believe they have five grandchildren. This is just a wonderful accomplishment for another African American, another hidden figure. And we really thank and appreciate Dr. West for her invention. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel.
give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.